Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. I'm Yuan Bing Zhou. I'm a PhD student from Embalysis Lab of Ling Xiaoping University, Sweden. It is the joint work with my supervisors, Sohail Sami, Pat Willis, and Seb Pen. The presentation title is ACL Decomposition Based Route and Scheduling in Safety Critical Type Sensitive Networking. In today's talk, the following five sessions will be discussed about from introduction to system model and problem formulation, motivational example, mod proposed solution, and finally, experimental result. So due to the increasing bandwidth requirement in the automotive industry, especially for the emerging new applications like ADAS, automated driving, connected vehicles, and advanced infotainment, the traditional bus-based communication technique, for example, CAN or Flexway, cannot scale well. So one of the proposed solutions is to use the Ethernet-based real-time and reliable communication technique. For example, the tight sensitive networking or Ethernet developed by IEEE Group. So the uh, tight sensitive network TSN in short includes three main components the synchronization, the low latency to yield server scheduler to have low latency requirement satisfied. One of the most widely used uh, scheduler is the tie trigger scheduler, which is adopted in this uh, paper. And reliability, it applies the frame replication and elimin elimination to handle granular hardware failures. So in this case, the message uh, generate several copies in its source, and then the, those uh, message copies are transmitted over the network, and finally it reaches to the destination, and the destination is in charge of getting rid of the several message copies. By this, it can uh, increase the percentage of successful transmission of the message. But in the uh, automotive functional safety standard, ISO 26262, it has defined two kinds of failures from random hardware failures and two systematic failures. So random hardware failures, which means that a failure can occur unpredictably, which means that uh, before the system run, you cannot predict when the failure will occur. And the systematic failures, which will occur in a deterministic suite, this due to that the low cost of the uh, two failures are different. For the systematic failure, it can, it can due to the requirement specification, the hardware or software bug or issues in the manufacturing process. So the systematic failure can be mitigated only by redesign the system. Um, in a state of an is the technique that can handle the random hardware failure but there is no technique that can handle the systematic failures. It is the first work uh, that can handle the systematic failures in TSM. So in ISO 26262, it has defined the different automotive safety integrity level from QM, which, has, which do not have any safety requirement to ACLA to ACLB to ACLC and finally ACLD. For ACLD, it has the most uh, strict safety requirements. So for different ACL, it have the different safety requirements on the development, verification, and validation process. For different ACL, it have a different requirement on the coverage of the systematic failures. And also, with the increasing ACL level, the development costs will increase in order to reduce the cost, ACL decomposition technique can, uh, can be applied. So in the standard, it has defined the ACL decomposition algebra. The part of the ACL, ACL decomposition algebra is shown in the figure here. So if the original ACLD uh, function, it can be decomposed into two options. The first option is the ACLA plus ACLC. The second option is to have the ACLB plus ACLB. So the decomposed component uh, should be independent with each other. 
So the dependent failure analysis can be performed to evaluate to uh, to evaluate whether the composed component are uh, independent or not. So in this case, we should guarantee that ACA and should be independent with ACLC. All the two ACLB components should be independent with each other. Uh, in this case, if the ACLD can be uh, decomposed into one ACLA and a one ACLC, the ACLC component can be further decomposed by using the same uh, ACL decomposition algebra defined in the standard. The problem formulation in this paper is to give an input of the network topology given the N system from V6 to V9 and switches from V1 to V5 and also given a connection between switches and the, the end systems. We have the input of several message. For message MI, we have its source, we have its destinations, we have the period of this message and its end-to-end -end deadline requirements. We have the ACL requirement for this message which is inherited from the application it belongs to. So there is a list of candidate switch. For each switch in the candidate list, you have the ACL level, the switch can provide it to, and the cost of this switch. And also you have the information on which vendor it provides this switch. There is a table to indicate whether two switch are independent or not, which is a result of the dependent failure analysis. The output of this problem formulation is to have the switch assignment from the list of candidates. So here is a table which have several of the switches which can assign to the switches in the network topology. And also we do the routing and the scheduling for each message. So the routing here means that for each message we should determine which switches it goes through on the network. And also for the scheduling, we need to determine the re release time to the corresponding link on its log to the destination for each switch. Since the automotive industry is very sensitive to the cost, we also try to do the cost optimization. For different switches, it have the different cost. And when we apply the ACL decomposition, which can help to reduce the cost, but this will increase the diversity due to the independence guarantees, which will add some additional costs. So this additional cost is due to that we need to have a negotiation with the different vendors on the business and technical detail with it. So in our cost uh, optimization, we consider the cost of the switches and the negotiation costs. Here I give a motivational example. So in this example, we have four uh, end system and five switches. And there is a message whose ACL requirement is equal to ACL D. This message is transmitted from uh, end system V6 to the desti destination V8. So it has only one load from V6 to V1 to V2 to V3 and finally reach to V8. So the, all the switches in, uh, in each row to should have the ACLD requirement. So we can assign them to ACL item 6 on this table here. So the cost of these switches is equal to 1,600 times 3. Since we do not have any uh, ACL requirement on switches from V4 and V5, we can assign them to item 0. So they have the cost with 100 times 2. Since we also consider the negotiation cost, so whose value is equal to 100 times 2. So 100 here is the coefficient with the negotiation cost, which is increased by the number of vendors. So 2 here is the number of vendors because we have the vendor for number 2 and number 4. We can also consider the different solution with the same uh, example. So here, also from V6 to V8, uh, and also the ACLD requirement. But we apply the ACLD decomposition on switch V1. So we decompose ACLD to two ACLB. 
which transmitted to message copy through the first route v1, v2, and v3, and second route to v1, v4, and v3. So in this example for switch, switch v3, it should apply the reverse process of, of ACL decomposition. So the ACL requirement of this switch should be the same as the ACL requirement of this message, which equal to ACL D. So in this case, V1 and V3 can be aside from the item 6 on this table. And V2 and V4 can be aside from the uh, item 2 and item 3 in this table. So in this case, item 2 and item 3 are independent. And since we do not have any safety requirement on V5, we can assign it from the item 0 from this table. So the total cost for the switch switches in this case is, is equal to 1,600 times 2 plus 300 plus 500 to plus 100. And in this case, the number of vendors equal to 3 because they are from vendor 2, 5, and 4. So the total cost in this case is to have 4,400, which is reduced, reduced from 5,200 to 4,400. So in this example to show that by applying ACL decomposition, we have the potential to reduce the, uh, the cost. So that is all for the motivational example. We move to the proposed solution. So the first part of the uh, proposed solution is to use the SMT-based routing and scheduling constraint. So in the routing part, we consider the ACL decomposition-based routing. So in this ACL decomposition, we model the ACL decomposition algebra, and we also have independent guarantees when we apply the ACL decomposition. For the cost optimization, we apply the SMT software with building of optimization technique. But it is not practical because it takes more than eight hours to solve a relative small case, like only have a message. So we have a proposed another solution, which is built on the SMT modeling of the routing and scheduling. But we apply the binary search based optimization framework. So there are a lot of iteration within the binary search based optimization framework. And in each iteration, we call the SMT solver to solve the scheduling and routing problem. And the solution from the SMT solver will give us the indicate to search in the next iteration, which, is, which can help to narrow down the range of calls it search for. So by this, we can reduce the time to find a solution. Let's see the experimental setting. So we consider the state-of-art SMT software, which is just read. We consider 100 megabits per second. We consider the network topology is randomly generated. We consider the number of switches is from A to C to A to 10, and the message size is from 64 to 1,500 bytes. So the first set of uh, experiment is to consider the scalability of the solution. We can see clearly from the figure that with increasing number of message instance, and also with increasing number of switches in the network, the sensitivity time is increased. But it can also, it can get that we can find a practical reasonable solution, practical reasonable time for large applications. The second one is to have the comparison of different solutions. So the first one is our proposed solutions. The next one is the AAO, is to have considered the ACL assignment when we do routing constraint, and also we consider the optimization. So to compare AAO with our solution is to consider the impact of the ACL decomposition on the synthesis time and the schedulability. And AAO is to consider AC assignment, but without consider optimization. The first one is the straightforward solution, is to consider the switches, all the switches on the network whose AC level is equal to the AC level, uh, the, the largest AC level among all messages. So the figure, so the experimental result, 
The left one solves the synthesis zeta, the right one solves the cost function. So it is clear from the figure that for our solution, we have the largest uh, synthesis zeta. But we can get that uh, even this, uh, even the synthesis zeta is the largest, but it can still within the reasonable time to find the relative large case. But for the cost function here, we have the smallest uh, cost function. And compared to the other case, which is most costly to our solution, we can have the cost reduction reach to 20%, which, which is quite significant in the cost uh, optimization, uh, especially for the automotive industry. So to summarize, we have proposed the first work that can handle the systematic figures in a time sensitive networking. We have done the formal modeling of ACL decomposition based routing and scheduling by using the SMT software. And we also propose a framework to do the switch assignment and cost optimization. That is all. Thank you for listening.